Besides speaking of the spiritual crisis within the Catholic Church, does the third secret speak of a divine chastisement of the world at large? None other than the former Cardinal Ratzinger, now Pope Benedict XVI, has confirmed that it does. In the 1984 interview in which Cardinal Ratzinger spoke of the third secret, he said, The things contained in this third secret correspond to what has been announced in Scripture and what has been said again and again in many other Marian apparitions. Cardinal Ratzinger's revelation in the 1984 Jesus Magazine interview that what is contained in the third secret corresponds to what has been said again and again in other Marian apparitions is very significant because in the other Marian apparitions he refers to, there is a reference not only to a spiritual crisis in the church, but to a divine punishment of the entire world. And one of these apparitions, approved as authentic by church authorities, is the apparition of Our Lady at Akita, Japan in 1973. In this apparition, Our Lady speaks of a twin chastisement, a chastisement within the church consisting of a crisis in faith and morals and discipline, and a divine punishment of the whole world. And at Akita, she gave some terrifying details about the nature of that divine punishment of the world. And by choosing to appear at Akita on October 13, 1973, the very anniversary of the miracle of the sun, Our Lady was sending a message, unmistakably connecting the Akita apparitions to the Fatima apparitions. In 1973, at Akita in Japan, the Virgin Mary spoke to Sister Agnes Esagawa, a deaf nun. While praying in the chapel, Sister Agnes witnessed a great light surrounding a wooden statue of Our Lady. Sister Agnes then heard a voice coming from the statue, which delivered three messages to her. The first in July, the second in August, and the last and most important message on October 13, 1973. Our Blessed Mother warned, the work of the devil will infiltrate even the church in such a way that one will see cardinals opposing cardinals, bishops against other bishops. The priests who venerate me will be scorned and opposed by their confreres. Churches and altars sacked, the church will be full of those who accept compromise, and the demon will press many priests and consecrated souls to leave the service of the Lord. In the same message, the Virgin further warned that not only the Catholic Church, but the whole world will suffer the consequences of this loss of faith. She further said, if men do not repent and better themselves, the Father will inflict a terrible punishment on all humanity. It will be a punishment greater than the deluge, such as no one has ever seen before. Fire will fall from the sky and will wipe out a great part of humanity, the good as well as the bad, sparing neither priests nor faithful. The survivors will find themselves so desolate that they will envy the dead. After a thorough investigation by Bishop Ito, the bishop of the diocese in which Akita is located, the message of Akita was approved as being worthy of belief. Howard D., the Philippine ambassador to the Vatican, said in a 1998 interview with Inside the Vatican magazine that Bishop Ito was certain Akita was an extension of Fatima, and Cardinal Ratzinger personally confirmed to me that these two messages of Fatima and Akita are essentially the same. 